steps. I just drop my ball. You think I'm doing exercise today? You are wrong. Today we're making dou tang fan. Having this since I grew up in China, this soup with split peas. Ooh, the flavor. This is how I tell them dinner's ready. <gasps> Vim song now. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, I just got these pork bones. We're making the superior stock first. Stock recipe is in my cookbook. Check the link down in the description or pre-order my book now. Asian market cookbook. So many of my favorite recipes such as my pickle recipe, my pickle jar behind here. First, make the soup. Look, put the bones. In this water, we're gonna boil it. Ooh, it's boiling. Now we get rid of this water. Gonna add some green onions and crushed ginger. Of course, and more water. We're going to cook the stock for a very long time. So I soak these peas overnight. Or you can just do it during the day for a few hours, but at least by five hours. So in China, we use the yellow peas. Right here is a picture. And here, I can't find the yellow peas from Sichuan, so hmm. I use oh those ch chickpeas, like these. Uh. Called yellow split pea. Mm. Or these. What will work? They are similar. After soaking beans, now we filter the water. Look at the beans. Ooh. Here, we boil a pot of water. Put this steamer on. I like to use this inside too because it's not like a lot of beans. Easier to take the beans out with a cheesecloth. So you can steam the beans or boil the beans in the water. We steam the beans for an hour. Ooh, oh my finger smells like beans. Ooh, yeah, here. Look at now, the beans are ready. Let's take a look. Oh, free free show. <laughs> the steam. Mm. Let's take this out, put it in this bowl. We mash the yellow peas, what do you call it? Chickpeas. Then we stir fry them with lard. But you don't have to. You can stir fry with the cooking oil, just a regular vegetable oil. But I do think the lard brings a lot of flavor. We use a lot of lard in cooking in Sichuan. Like in noodles, buns, dumplings, a oh, lot of it. Oh. Okay, get this back in. It's pretty good. Now we heat the wok in high heat. Every time I make a cooking video, just actually not. Think about idea, this is the food I eat every day. Especially sometimes when you are sick, have a cold, you're always on a bowl of soup. My grandma will make me chicken soup and this bean soup because I love this. Where's rice? Where's my rice? Rice is life, remember, right? This is a vegetable oil, of course. I said you need some lard. If you don't have lard, you just use a regular cooking oil. When I grew up, my grandma always make this at home. I will make a video later if you're interested. Comment below here. Let me know if you want to know how to make your own lard at home. This is Pig fat. Ew. So I always film in the evening time. So after the video, you know who eat the food, right? Sometimes I see other YouTuber or people are making lots of food and they just single or no kids. The food looks so delicious, but who's eating it? Just them? Seems like a lot of food is just for one person or two people. I do have an audience at home. Eat this. If you want to join me, comment below here. Join my circus. So eat my food. Where's my spatula? Alright, got my spatula. Then now I'm stir fry the chickpeas. Chinese, we call this pa wan dou. Sichuan hua. Pa wan dou. Mi pa means soft so this is a soft piece after you stir fry mash them they become very soft Ooh, put some seasoning salt and white pepper green onions looks like a mashed potato but it's not it's a mashed piece i want to add some more so we stir fry about three to five minutes depends on your stove all right, let's set this on the side. We check the stock. You ready for the stock? Oh, the color. Hmm. All right, save a ball, just this. Oh, big bone. Take out the bone, just the bone. Leave the meat in there. Second one. So now it's time. We add the beans in the soup. 
This soup is pretty close to Western soup, I say, because most of Chinese soups are very clear. The Western soup is very creamy, but the beans will make the soup looks very thick and creamy. So now we put in, cook for 15 minutes. I'm taking you into my soup. You wanna hear the sound? This sounds so delicious. Look at the color. But compared to other Chinese soup, this one's pretty thick soup. Some meat in here. While we are waiting, I, we can just talk for a couple minutes. Yeah, I make a huge pot because we can have leftovers. So tomorrow, I don't have to cook. Sometimes I don't wanna cook, I just wanna order in. But most of the days I cook because I wanna have my food. Nowhere else can have my food, Sichuan food, Chinese food, only in my house. But I hope you can join me next time. In my house, have some dinner with me. I just taste and need some more, a little bit more salt and white pepper. Here, optional, uh, some mushroom powder. Let's mix. Taste it. Ooh, tastes good. Go Tell one of my kids to taste the soup. Now serve to my circus. I already put the rice in the bowl. How come I just never find anything in my kitchen? <laughs> Here. It's gonna be perfect. Of course, we have another dish. We have fish tonight too. Is that the perfect bowl? Topping with more green onions. Mm. The rice absorbed the soup and you can chew with some more beans. You just melt it, melt it in your mouth. Mm. My husband always say, I'm so loud. This is how I tell them dinner's ready. Just like my parents. <gasps> dinner's ready. See how long it takes them to come downstairs. How about you? Mm. Mm? How about you? This is called Qi More yellow beans. Just bones and beans. There's a lot of food. There's a lot of Now I just have a lot of dirty dishes right there. Mm -hmm. Who is going to wash the dishes? Is it you want to wash? Is it you Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next week. Please subscribe. I have this bean soup for you. Let me know if you want to see something more spicy. The fish I will post next week. I will see you next week.